Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Sharnice, and welcome to Simply Niqua. And this is my channel. So this week, I have a book review for you guys. Um, I do a lot of other things on my channel, but one of my favorite things I do is book reviews because I love to read. Um, and yeah, reading is just a good thing to do. Okay. Especially when it's your favorite genre of books. You just love to read it and I just love romance books and sci-fi. And today I have a romance novel for you guys this week which I mostly read. So if you don't like romance, I'm sorry but I do and I enjoy it and I want to tell you all about it. So if you're afraid to read romance novels, don't be. It's great. It's good. Um, and yeah. So, so I have a good romance novel short story book for you guys this week to tell you about to review for you guys to see let you know if you want to read them or not so let's go ahead and get started with the review so the book that i'm going to review for you guys is a short story novel just like the one that i have requested it to y'all to read for like Christmas which I had that up above here so you can check that if you want to so it's just like short stories of many different authors each author put their own spin and their own story for a specific topic so this book um, topic was Valentine's Day because this book came up for Valentine's Day and even though it's past Valentine's Day you know way past it um, it's still good to read because like if you just think of it Romance novels is like Valentine's Day 24-7. So that's why I'm just going to go ahead and review for you guys this short story novel and go ahead and tell you all about it because, you know, it's, it's, it's romance. And uh, regardless if it's Valentine's Day or not, it is what it is. So this novel has six stories, six short stories of six different um, authors and the first novel is called A Rock Chick Valentine's and is by Kristen Ashley. So this is an author I never read, um, I never read her books so she was new to me. So what did I think about this story? Um, it says let's revisit the couple who did who started the rock chick series which you can tell when reading the um right off the bat that you can tell that this story was well developed by this author already and the author wants to revisit this these two characters and wants to show um people who picked this book up if they haven't read these rock chick series to um to inspire them to pick the series up but when i was reading it um you can tell that it was well developed characters and characters that are made of books and it was like a lot of different characters a lot of things um, was going on like it was just a hard to read that's why it took me a little longer to read the book for me personally because it was just hard for me to get through the, the you know the pages to get moving because I didn't know what I mean I knew what I was reading but it was kind of like hard to keep going with it and to um, keep my interest but all in all it was still a good story it just felt like that for me and so this series is just like a one big chapter and um, it was all in Indy's mind but yeah that was uh, a rock chick valentine's and that's what my thoughts were. The second book is called Once Upon a Red Hot Kiss by Lauren Bakley and this is one of my favorite authors. I have a lot of favorite authors and this is a uh, author that I've read a lot of her books so I'm excited to really like tell you guys about her. So this story was um, the two main characters were Kirby and Macy and I freaking love this story. Um, so it was just a very loving story story it was the Macy was all about Valentine's Day and and when you read it you actually like become the character you feel the character you like you can feel that like you are the Macy character being with Kirby or Kirby and you just understand their whole story as a whole and you just become the characters and be in the world when you read it you just really connect with each character even the side characters that was in there it, you just connect all around with them when I got done with this um, short story it was leaving you wanting more wanting more of Kirby and Macy and it just stopped and I'm like no 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 
but yeah, so it was like a full book short story of Kirby and Macy. So it was 11 chapters and 11 quick chapters and um, with an epilogue at the end. So you got a little ending of what their story is about. And like I said, you get left with wanting more. And there's like another book that uh, deals with the two other characters that was in this not in this little short story. Their names were Allie and uh, Miller and um, you just got left with wanting more of the, what their characters were and at the end it said if you want to know more about them read Once Upon a Sure Thing and of course I'm going to read that one. In this short story, I had 11 chapters, so we had a special treat of getting to be in the minds of Kirby and Macy. So there's different chapters in Kirby's mind and different chapters in Macy's mind, which is a treat. I love when authors do that for books. Like Macy in the book was so goo goo gaga for Valentine's Day and all about it because she always had good luck on Valentine's Day. And then Kirby was the one that was like, you know what a lot of people are who hate Valentine's Day it was like what's the purpose of Valentine's Day and because he had like bad experiences on and on um, with Valentine's Day so why celebrate it so yeah the, the story which is all in all good I would even tell you to get this book if it was just this story to read because it was a spectacular so yes I give this book this little short story a 100% greatness. The next one was called Seaside Serenade, Serenade. Mm. and it's by Melissa Foster which is another author I haven't um, heard of before. So this book, this short story was um, the two characters were Brooke and Cree and it was like in third person which I'm not too hot on um, but surprisingly this third person was more easy to read, more visually to read but I couldn't really connect to the characters, couldn't really be the character, become the character, um, be in the world because it was in third person. It just felt like I was reading somebody else's thoughts of these two loving couple. So it just felt off to me. I don't like third person. I like first person. I like to become the character and be in the story. So, but it was still good. Um, it was very, it was more better than the first story. Um, and uh, it was more easier to read. I find third person a little harder to read for me, but this one was really, really good to read. So I really enjoyed it. I liked the setting of this book because it was like the characters like in a boxing area and that kind of feel to it. It's a little different than like, oh, like the main guys, like a CEO or a security team or something like that. He has a boxing gym and does that kind of stuff and like the cook the girls like more hardcore and stuff like that so I really uh, like the different different quality of these two characters so I really did really enjoy it it was three um, chapters okay so the next book was called shadows of you and it's by Jay Kenner oh my gosh so Jay Kenner is one of my uh, one of my favorite first author that I uh, fell in love with after reading Fifty Shades of Grey and Jay Kenner is the author of this book. So this one was part of the Psych series. This short story was only three chapters and I just love like the this like character and this development of story. This was more like it wasn't just it, it was happened on Valentine's Day but it didn't have to do nothing with Valentine's Day and it was more like heart broken like you yearn, you yearn for these character and you yearn for their situation so this is one of the stories out of um that I really felt the characters more and felt her situation and felt her love for her partner and wanted to be with him and it was pretty cool to read it and I thought I did I want them to be like a whole three story three book story I want it all I want to know more about their background and about their story and um, how they get got together so I want to know more I hope she does it and this is really really good the next book of this short story is called Dirty Secret Valentine and the author is by Lauren Page which is another freaking awesome 
author. I read a lot of her books as well. And this story was this one big old hunky lovey chapter. And the characters' name were Amy and Harrison. And like again, this one was a book like you can feel the characters, feel their situation, feel their love to be with one another you just want to keep them to be together um you should really read this short story i love it and you can just really tell these two people are truly madly in love with each other and they just can't because of their living situations and their jobs and it just you feel bad for them and you just want them to be together it's like just forget everything just be together you want that for them but they can't and it just it's really sad it just sucks how sometimes life don't allow you to be with someone because their situation i feel for the characters so much i just want the the greatness for these characters and last but not least i have been saying this a lot but this was another favorite author that i read her books from as you sh would know um if you have seen my other book reviews i have reviewed her books and this is Kendall Ryan and this short story was called Bedroom Experiment like mm. so um this short story was four chapters and um and it was a erotic story and uh it's a little different and a little shocking, but it's totally awesome and cool. I won't give nothing away. I have to give it a little snippet secret away. Um, what it's all about. But um, it was it was like a little shocker and cool though. Um, so I really want you to read this little short story so you know what I'm talking about. But um, it was a spicy and hot. It was a really good book. It, it was a short one. I didn't want this one to end either. Um, but it was a cool little short spicy story at the end. And it was a great way to end this novel off. And I really love the story. And uh, I love the characters. So I really enjoyed this not, uh, this series and I enjoyed the whole novel um, of short stories here for Valentine's Day called Be Mine and these are all the short stories and the authors um, I didn't want to give too much away from each little short story since there are this mainly short stories and if I explained a little bit more in depth of what the stories were about it's like why well, read it but I 100% tell you to go pick this up and read it yourself um, and it, you will enjoy it. It will not be a waste of your time. So that's it. And if you like this little short story, please tell me down below. And if you have read this book already, um, please leave it down below and tell me what you thought about it and uh, which was your favorite story as well let me know i would really would like to know um so thank you so much for watching and before you go how about go down below and subscribe to my youtube channel hit the great notification bell and also give me a like and share this if you please and uh want to so thank you so much for watching and until next book review i'll catch you later bye